Uh, my name is Zhu Wang. Uh, I will present this uh, localized exponential time difference method based on Dominic condition. This is joint work with our group. Next. So well, basically, uh, we are uh, solving time evolution problems by using parallel Schwarz algorithms with uh, overlapping Dominic composition and uh, exponential time difference method for time integration. So there are uh, several advantages of this approach. First, by using exponential integrators, we are able to, uh, we are allowed to use a large time step size. Second, it solves subdomain problems of smaller size in parallel, and potentially uh, we could use a different time step size in different regions. Then as a result, it, the method will reduce computational cost without affecting the accuracy of the approximate solutions. Next. So here is uh, uh, the, the, the details. So our <coughs> method could handle quite a general uh, model problems, such as uh, uh, parabolic PDEs or hyperbolic PDEs, like the shallow water equations we're going to focus in this uh, talk. So suppose after a special discretization, we achieve this uh, system of equations, u prime equals l u plus r. Here, u is a state of a state of variable vector, L is a matrix corresponding to linear operator, R is a remainder, which is usually non-linear, depends on U and the boundary data psi. Then we uh, use exponential time difference method for time integration. So given solution at the current time step, we want to approximate the solution at the next time step, U M plus one. So uh, the exponential uh, time difference method we all integrate the in linear part exactly while approximate the nonlinear part. Okay, for example, using the equation two, which is a second order accurate in time, so we call it call it ETD two, and it can be formulated as a two stage approach, uh, just as uh, uh, Constantine uh, discarded. So it's known the major computation cost for such a method is used in evaluating the product of matrix and the exponent, uh, matrix exponential and the vector. So in order to improve its performance, we developed this localized ETD method based on domain composition. Uh, next page, please. Okay. So uh, instead, instead of considering the origin problem, here we consider <coughs> it's a multi-domain formulation. So let's take a one-dimensional domain, for example, assume this uh, domain is partitioned into two overlapping subdomains, omega one and omega two. Correspondingly, U is divided into two overlapping subsets, U one and U two. Then we, we will solve subdomain problems separately. Such these subdomain uh, subdomain problems will talk to each other by imposing uh, transmission conditions. So basically, transmission conditions will enforce the subdomain solutions. Uh, have the same values at the interface, okay? So our algorithm is motivated by a uh, two-stage ETD2. So just recall the first stage is a, a first-order approximation, it's kind of prediction. Second stage is just a correction. Then assume the subdomain solutions at the current time step are known. Let's present the details of the algorithm. Next page, please. <coughs> so at the first step, we compute the subdomain solutions u1 tilde and u2 tilde at uh, tm plus one. So this is the first stage of the ETD2 algorithm. Then we will use such a uh, approximation to update the interface conditions. So these interface conditions will provide new boundary uh, data for subdomain problems. So uh, at this, at the next step, we just uh, um, uh, perform the second stage of ETD2 method. And uh, this uh, solution will use uh, the results from the first step, that is uh, U tilde, U1 tilde and U2 tilde, and also use the updated boundary conditions. So this step will uh, repeat uh, until interface values from subdomain solutions are close enough. Okay, next page. So here, let's look at uh, one uh, model problem. This is a, a single layer rotating shallow water equation. Uh, 
So we use a uh, uh, trace scheme uh, for spatial discretization, just as uh, Lily did. And uh, the resulting semi-discrete system will be U prime equals F of U. Then we uh, propose two approaches. Uh, in the first one, F is a linear rise about uh, using by using its Jacobian uh, evaluated at, uh, at the current uh, numeric solutions, UM. Then R of M is just a remainder term. Then the second approach, we use a, a Hamiltonian system, just as a constantinity. So here, this uh, A reference, uh, this, uh, this term A reference, which is just uh, the Jacobian uh, of the Hamiltonian system, you value at a certain reference state. Then R, I, F will be the corresponding remainder. Then we call, we apply the localized algorithm for time integration, and we call approach one, LETD2 and the call project 2, LETD2 wave. Okay, next page. Then we do a test. This test is uh, uh, inspired by SOMA, but we only use its geometry and uh, we don't consider any forcing or smoothing. So the, we use the SVT mesh. And here, uh, these two plots, two plots just show you the initial conditions. The first one, the left one is the sea surface height, which are based on uh, uh, a Gaussian function, then the right is zero velocity field. But on the boundary, we use uh, no normal flow conditions. Next page. Okay, so here is the performance of the algorithm. So we, to test it, we uh, use 10 subdomains generated by Mattis and the overlapping size to be six, and we fix the time step size to be 200 seconds. Then we measure the performance of the algorithm using uh, error and uh, CPU time. For the error, we consider relative L infinite error in, in, in depths, and uh, we use uh, RK4 with a very small time steps as a benchmark solution. And for uh, time, we just measure the average CPU time per step. So in this table, we show the second column and the third column just to show you the results. When number of create of vectors is 20 and 30, you can see there is no big difference. And we also observe there is no any iteration needed for both localized algorithms. In and it's observed localized schemes can achieve the same accuracy as associated global schemes while accelerating the simulations. And in particular, the, the second approach is always more computationally more efficient and accurate than the first approach. Next page, please. Okay, then we fix the number of subdomains to be 10 and the fixed number of curves of vectors to be 30. And uh, we check the error, beha uh, the, the, the behavior of the algorithms. In the left uh, plot, we show you error versus of overlapping size when delta t equals 200. So as the overlapping size increase, the error decrease. And in particular, when overlapping size is greater than six, error stays the same. In a red plot, we show you errors versus uh, time step size. So in general, as the uh, time step size decrease, uh, the error converges at the, at the desired order. Okay, next page. Then we run a 10-day simulation using LTD2 wave. And uh, here, this, is, this plot just show you the time resolution of uh, Relatively, uh, relative mass change. So you can see mass is well conserved up to machine precision. Next page. Just a few words for uh, convolution. We develop localized ETD algorithms with overlapping subdomains. The localized algorithm can reach the same accuracy as the global schemes, and the, but it can speed up simulations through parallel performance. And the next, uh, next steps, we're going to perform convergence analysis, and we're going to extend this method to multi-layer shallow water equations, as Constantin discussed, discussed in his talk. And also, we are uh, extend this method to more complicated systems, such as uh, the system Sarah we are present in her talk. Thank you.